Answers tonight about an evangelical group's decision to focus its ministries on young kids at local parks, apartments, and soon at after school programs. So we do teach about sin. We're not nasty. We're not high pressure. We're not negative, but we teach what the Bible teaches. But some opponents say the group is using scary and misleading tactics to recruit kids as young as five years old. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Dan Tilkin in for Jeff tonight. And I'm Kelly Day. Thanks for joining us. Jessica Morkert is getting some answers about what's really going on inside those summer camps. Jessica? And Kelly, chapter leaders tell me that this is really all a theological debate at its core, but opponents say that this organization is really religious extremists who are making too many references to hell. How do you guys handle that? We don't, we don't, articulate, we don't articulate it that way because, you know, we're not in the business of trying to scare children. At a park, Child Evangelism Fellowship organizers asked me not to disclose, fearing picketers might disrupt the children attending. Songs, Bible lessons, and missionary stories are being shared. We found out it's one of 93 five-day summer camps being held in the metro area this week. So we do teach about sin. We're not nasty. We're not high pressure. We're not negative. But we teach what the Bible teaches, that every human being is a sinner in need of a Savior. Organizers like Moses Estevez and Pastor John Luck tell me CEF has been in this community for years. And once a year, the international organization focuses its ministry on a specific city. This year, that's Portland. So in cooperation with local churches, the group gets permission from parents with children five years old and older for a five-day camp in the summer and soon a good news after school program in the fall. I understand that a number of people might not like that we are teaching the Bible as an after school good news club on public school property, but the reality is we had a legal case uh, that was decided in 2001. But opponents who responded to me via email Wednesday night say the good news club is not the Jesus loves you mainstream Christianity, but rather a hardcore evangelical indoctrination program. And parents who do not want their children converted should investigate before attending. We have nothing to hide. We are, listen, the message of the gospel, okay, the teaching of the core Christian tenets of the, uh, of the Christian faith, okay, that have been taught for 2,000 years in the Bible is what we're teaching here. There's nothing new here. Now, I did ask CEF leaders why they chose the city of Portland, and they tell me, like many cities from their perspective, Portland is in need of their message. They do plan on being in most public schools this fall with parental permission. Live in Southeast Portland, Jessica Morkert, Coin 6 News. Interesting.